Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm in a tree. Uh, right, we're going to be carrying on where we left off, uh, obviously, because I've got no choice but to do that. <laughs> Unless I start the game again, which I don't plan to do. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to do some shrines, has been my, uh, my thing recently. So I want to get two more uh, Lights of Blessing. Uh, which will allow me to upgrade my health because uh, you can see in the top left hand corner I only have four uh, hearts which is a, a pretty puny amount and uh, I feel a bit underpowered and I keep dying and there's two things that I could do I could either admit that I'm not very good at the game and I keep dying because of that why am I not wearing my clothes um, or I could decide that it's because I don't have enough hearts <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I need to, to level up for that reason. All uh, right, outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Just taken off all of my armor. I'm just here in my little shorts. I haven't got any weapons and stuff, I guess. None, 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 none. Okay, uh, right, this is gonna be a, a challenging one. Oh, they're giving me some things here. What do we have? We have a wooden stick. Oh, brilliant. Okay, no worries, guys. I've got a wooden stick, it's fine. I thought this might be challenging, but they're giving me a wooden stick and an old wooden shield and an old wooden bow. <laughs> this is, um, this might be tricky. I guess I haven't even got any items yet to like upgrade my bows. So I'm gonna have to think about this smart. What do we have around the area? So I'm obviously gonna need to do some fusing. I could fuse this rock onto my stick and that would uh, give me a, that would, that would give me a pretty good weapon. That would give me a plus two to that. Oh, oh, the constructs have all seen me here. What's uh, what's in this old barrel here? Oh, actually, if I can get just to fight one, 1v1, one one, that'd be great. So let's see if I can just lure one back this way. Oh, okay, they're all coming. They're all coming. Let's see if I can get a flurry rush, if I can dodge it at the right time. That was not great timing at all. My weapon did not do much damage at all. I might need to hunt for some other items if I can. Oh, is that like a, like a metal like barrel or something? That is not what I expected. But I saw there was a plant over here which is like a, a fire one, so that could be handy. And oh, I should I should have put I, I could put this on a I could fuse this to the uh, the stick. That would be great. So there we go. Now <laughs> we're doing some damage. Now the other uh, tables have turned. And if I shoot it uh you with the fire and try and knock you down. And then I can try and finish them. Okay, well, they're taken out already. And they are dropping some of the, the horns as well. So I could use them on the arrows if I need to. Then again, looks like I won't even need to because big stick with spiky ball on the end turns out is pretty effective. You only get those sort of uh, elite pro tips here on, <laughs> on Stampy's Let's Play on uh, Breath of the Wild. And oh, look, that's nice. It's giving me all of my stuff back. Do I not get to loot the, uh, the enemies? Like Zony charges and stuff. No, oh, this barrel still is. So is this just like a solid? Yeah, I guess I can't even break that open. Like, I guess what? Could I put that on like a shield or something then, I guess, maybe? Do I have something I could put it onto? Not really. These are all like quite complete weapons as they are. I think maybe it's just like as a heavy thing. That I could like yeet at enemies or something. They are being nice though. They are giving me some sort of loot. There is a... Uh, a chest here at the uh, the very end of it uh, with a spring shield. A shield used by the, the Zoni and made out of Zonite. It lowers the energy consumption of a attached Zoni device. Oh, so is it a, a shield I can actually use as a shield? It is, but then it also affects like a, a Zoni device somehow. Okay, I still need to uh, play around a little bit more of my uh, my Zoni devices and stuff and uh, work out how all of all of that stuff works. I've not actually made many. Uh, contraption since getting down to the uh, the overworld. Uh, anyway, uh, let's leave this shrine and uh, go and head straight to uh, another one. Oh, so I've just teleported to this tower, which is where, if you remember, I, I defeated a lot of enemies in this area. Because places bring back uh, a lot of bad memories uh, as, uh, <laughs> as it happens. But there's another one of these big spiky sticks here. And I'd really like to attach something to it, but I don't really have, like, a, a stick or anything that I could attach to it. Um... Is there going to be anything inside of, like, any of these, uh, these boxes? Like, I just need, like, a wooden stick or something. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't stress about it. Maybe I, I shouldn't worry about it. But it just seemed to do pretty good. I mean, I could, like, break apart one of these. Like, this isn't going to do that much, right? So, if I unfuse it... I'm, try I'm trying to remember what that, like, what that does. It doesn't, like, destroy it, right? Does it? Oh, destroy fused material. Oh, it's not... 
It's not- oh, maybe that's not fused. Oh wait, so can I- can I put it just on this sword by itself? Is this not fused? Oh, it's not! It's just the sword- I thought something was already fused to it. Ah, okay. Uh, right, let's, uh, put this on that. And whoa, okay, that is going to do a lot of damage. I mean, it looks absolutely ridiculous. But I'm not in it for style, I'm in it for, for battle damage. So it looks like the nearest shrine to here is this one here, this um, blue pin there. So let's go and uh, launch myself uh, up on this. And uh, it should take hopefully only a second uh, to fly. I think that's the shrine literally right there. It's probably going to take me more time flying up <laughs> than it is actually going to, to try and fly to, towards that actual shrine. And uh, we made great progress with the, the next one. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get these done quick and then we can go down into the chasm. Uh, right, what do we have? Oh good, it's a puzzle one. A, uh, a spinning device it is called. Oh okay, we've got a bunch of skateboards. One of them has a uh, has a chest on it. Oh no, the chest has disappeared. Is this the chest? Is it going to like come back round? So if I used a uh, recall on it, and oh, actually, there's different like compo. If I if I can grab like one of the wheels, oh, I can just grab the whole thing. So uh, is it is it going to just keep going forward now as I place it? Are these like automatically powered? Oh, they are. Okay, let's tell. Let's let's take one of these wheels off. <laughs> just so, oh, then it just goes off by itself. Okay, I've not uh, I've not played around with those wheels yet. They are new to me. But let's go and uh, grab the the chest first. Okay, just got myself some arrows. So I get. I guess I probably don't need to worry about these. I can see there's like the makings of a cart here, where I could go and start making my own. I oh, was the idea. Is this going to push me back? So I would need the the cart to go and drive over it. So, I mean, why why bother making my own? I can just steal one of the, these ones, right? I don't need to, to mess around with that. Uh, so if I place that there, is that going to be enough for it to make it? It is. So let's uh, let's uh, recall it a little bit, just so <laughs> just so it doesn't run off without us, then I can get on top of it, and then we can uh, go again. There we go. I guess I'm starting to get a, a handle on some of these, uh, these different abilities. It seems to be just about... Uh, powerful enough to, to push us over the, the top of here. I was wondering if I would have to add any, like, bonus wheels or anything. And, ah! So is this gonna open that? But then I guess as I go away from it, it would close. So I'm guessing I'm probably gonna have to add some wheels to this in order to, to keep it open, I am uh, assuming. I like when you can work out the puzzle before, like, it's even <laughs> properly been, like, uh, faced to you yet, but... You've played enough of these kind of games. You uh, <laughs> you know what sort of sneaky things they think of. Okay, so one wheel was enough to, to power that. Uh, I might just take this through with me, just in case this ends up being needed. I thought, oh no, 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 don't, I keep, I keep forgetting it's just going to drive off, right? You, you go in the corner and you think about what you have done. Uh, so what do we have here? So there's a platform moving across here. And so I guess we're going to need to, to power it with one of the wheels. So I guess if I do it so the wheel is facing up like that and yeah i guess it should be that way around so it's rubbing against it is that going to start it going oh the uh, the wheel is not turning i do i do it the other way around i thought like if the wheel was like rubbing against like the top of these bars do it oh it just it just it just fell back off again um Oh, dude, maybe, maybe I need to do it in like. So, wait, so if that's spinning that way, no, yeah, it does. It does need to be this way round. Maybe it needs to be like in this little middle bit here. And then, do I do I need to hit it? Oh, yeah, it wasn't spinning for. Oh, it's not quite touching those bars. Maybe, maybe if I do it like on the uh, on the top, so it's facing down. Hmm, this one's a. A little bit less obvious than the uh, the previous one. I know it's definitely using this uh this to power along here, but it's how do exactly do I place it? Okay, placing it on the the front. It's now hitting the the rails. I got it. I got there in the the end. It's cool. I still feel like these are kind of like the um like the these shrines are kind of just still setting up like some of these mechanics and kind of like teaching some of the the new things, which makes sense because these are all of the shrines that are the the shrines uh, <laughs> the shrines uh, that are near the starting area. Like, I'm looking forward to getting stuck. I'm looking forward to getting, like, 
completely stumped and having to spend a while working something else uh, like out and then have like the big aha moment when I finally uh, am able to, to crack it. But that's not happened yet. But that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go um, head back to the area we were in. We can go to the... Um the, the goddess statue, and I uh, use that to upgrade my heart. It's definitely going to do a heart container next. I also uh, should probably do a bit of cooking, uh, as well as uh, I might try and buy some more of the, um, um, more of the, whatchamacallit, the um, uh, outfits that were there available as well, just to level myself up. Oh, but before we do that, we have a poor Korok. Have you seen all of the bullies online? that have been being mean to the Koroks and putting them in horrible contraptions and launching them to space and stuff. And I don't know why I'm laughing, because it's not funny. And if it's you, if you've done that to a poor Korok, then I'm not happy with you. I will instead help this Korok. Right, where's where's your buddy? Go on, let's see where your friend is. Oh, God, they're miles away. Okay, I guess... um. I guess we got to build a thing <laughs> in order to, to get you over there. Well, luckily, I have a, a lot of experience building these things. So let's uh, let's make a vehicle and we can go and send him to his, uh, to his mate. Okay, I have finished creating my vehicle. I probably went a little bit fancier <laughs> than I needed to, but... Uh, well, it's not that fancy. Uh, but yeah, here it is. I decided to add some headlights to it. <laughs> so these are some, like those little lights that light up. I mean, it's not that necessary. Because it's like right in the middle of the the day, but well, can I? Oh, I can't, I can't just say to wait, can I? I'd need to make a campfire. I kind of want to do it at night just to see what the uh, see how well the headlights work. So look, there's that over there. Let me. Uh, I guess I could just make a little campfire here, right? Uh, I'm assuming I've got just a, a little pile of logs somewhere. Yeah. So let's uh, hold that. Uh, just as a little tip, because there's probably some of you. Uh, probably a lot of you actually uh, that are watching this that didn't play uh, Breath of the Wild. So this is like a little thing that was quite standard in Breath of the Wild, but uh, you might not know is if you put flint next to the wood, then you strike it with something metal, uh, it will start fire. Basically, if you put fire on the the wood, it will do a campfire, and then you can sit on that. And I can say let's sit until uh, night. <laughs> actually, I think the sun was like setting right then anyway, so that probably wasn't the uh, the most <laughs> necessary thing for for me to to do. But I, I want to see what my what it looks like. Oh, that looks cool! Look at it with its little headlights. Right. Okay. Let's uh let's go strap my my Korok friend into it then, and uh, let's uh let's go and send him to his uh to his buddy. Hopefully this will go right. I've got a very good track record with my uh with my creation so far. Okay. Where's the smoke? Okay. The smoke's that way. Let's uh, let's let's give myself the best the best chance for success here. Okay, that looks like it is lined up perfectly. So let's uh, let's give this a, a knock, and then okay, nearly nearly messed up there. So I've got no steering mechanism. I'm yet to see a steering mechanism for things like this. They gotta be there. Like I'm, I'm gonna go to the left side because maybe my weight leaning might affect it slightly. Is uh, is worth a shot? You know what? We're doing uh, we're doing okay here. Right, let's uh, let's give it a little knock, and then let's do a, a slight readjustment. I don't want I don't want to have to be walking any of the way here. I want to be doing this all all by myself. So it's a little bit hilly. So I don't know how well that next bit's gonna work. But the oh no <laughs> no oh no no he's still going. Oh he's still <laughs> the wheels are still going. No my weapon was too strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I messed that up. All right, okay, forget that. We 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 walk the uh, the rest of the way. We uh, we got pretty far by ourselves anyway. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I, I guess because it's like you're um using this stuff to uh to set like basically you need to hit the thing in order to to set it going or not. And uh, because I'm so used to thinking of it as that's what I'm doing, I um. Yeah, it's very easy to forget that you're also hitting something wood with a giant, like, spiky ball. So, uh, yeah. My bad. Okay, we, uh, we got most of the way. I'm proud of my little car. It's one of my first proper vehicles I've, uh, made in this game so far. Anyway, there we go. You have been delivered. Thanks for bringing my friend here something for you. Oh, yeah, they give you two Korok seeds as well. Yet to find Hetsu anywhere. Maybe I need to, to do some exploring to, to try and, uh, and track him down, though. That would be, um... That would be very useful. Uh, anyway, so I've done all of the uh, the shrines that I was nearby. Uh, so let's go back out to uh, to Lookout Landing, shall we? And uh, let's go and, um, uh, as I said, upgrade and uh, do some cooking and sort out my outfit. All uh, right, I only need 10 more rupees to buy the hood. 
And uh, even though um, I did say it would be a shame to cover up my hair, I think uh, getting the uh, the protection makes more sense. The trousers I won't worry about for now. I'll come back when I just have more rupees or I might find some better ones anyway. So it's only better by one, but the hood, I don't have a hood at all. So that's going to be like bonus three from what I had before. So that's going to be a uh, big upgrade. So let's go and throw that on straight away. Oh, see, I do miss the hair then again. I do still look awesome. Hopefully we can find a place where we can... um dye all of our clothes. If you remember that in the uh, the first one. What was that? It was like Hanto Village, I think it was called. Uh, the place that you could uh, do that where you ended up getting the, uh, the, the house. Uh, anyway though, we won't be doing any of those luxuries for now because we are going down into the depths. So basically a little bit of a, of a recap uh, was there's a big chasm. Uh, it's right there. You can kind of see it. Uh, like the, the gloom coming out of it. And um, yeah, apparently if you go in it, uh, it like constantly hurts you. So you don't want to go in it. But uh, I was told that we're going to go down there. So I'm assuming there is like some way around that, I guess. I mean, that's what we're going to, to find out now. And uh, we also, uh, I'm going to get a camera. Uh, and we need to take pictures of some of like the uh, the artifacts and stuff that are in the area. Uh, just to um, work out. Well, apparently there was like some civilization under the ground. So that is what we're doing. That is why we are going here. And uh, why I wanted to, to upgrade my health. Like, I, I obviously, I just want to kind of explore and look around the, the world a bunch. But I, I, I'm also um, very conscious that with these games, you often, when doing the main quests, get like a bunch of like important upgrades that you want throughout the rest of the game. For example, my paraglider I got from one of the main quests. So if I was just exploring doing shrines, I'd be doing all of that without a paraglider, which <laughs> should of course be really uh, annoying. So uh, that's why I want to, to make sure that I have everything that I need. And oh, has he gone down already? Oh yeah, Robbie's gone down. Whoa, whoa! Oh sorry, I made him jump last time I did this. Hey, you again! I told you not to sneak up on me! Can't you see I'm right on the edge of the chasm? My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Don't start on me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. So I I'm, I'm meant to just go down there, right? I might do a little save before I do, because apparently it just hurts me going down there. Like, the gloom makes people sick, but... I guess if he's down there, it's got to be okay. And go oh, oh, it's deep. Oh, it's like real okay. I did not know it was going to be this deep. Why is this game turned so scary all of a all of a sudden? Really? Can I can I look up and I don't know if I can even look up enough. No, I can't even see my way out. I guess that's the night sky at the very end of that really long tunnel. Right, I did not know the uh, the depths was uh, was going to be this bad. Oh, has Robbie wandered off as well? Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zoni survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, but he rushed off with such a haste that I didn't bring enough blight broom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. The last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any bright balloon seeds on you? Uh, I do. Ah. Oh, great news. Light your way uh, from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You will be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright balloon seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck. Uh, so they're pretty easy to use. We use seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Okay. Ah. Those of skilled enough can use a bow with an arrow to fire them off into the distance down here. Okay. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of seeds with you. I will do. So there are these things here. So uh, there's like big ones and little ones. So these are the, the little ones here. So I guess if I, if I do this and then hold up, then I can go to throw them. I think that's the easiest way to, to throw them. And then if I throw that, but it obviously it won't. Oh, it, well, it will. I thought it wouldn't light until I struck it with something. But I guess it just hitting the, the floor uh, is enough to, to set it off. So that is handy. Uh, and then there's this light here. A Nithoji light root? What is it? Oh good, it's got uh, <laughs> it's got wireless functionality. It's got motion sensing. <laughs> it can sense my hand.
Oh, is it? Is it like lit up this whole area? Is the is the goal? I guess I reach these, and then they like light like the rest of the area up for me. It's become all flowery. Ah, and it's given me a teleportation point as well. Ah, so I got the depths. So I got the depths. Then I got like the normal ground, and then the high ground, uh, ground as well. Uh, the light route dispelled the darkness and brightened up the surrounding area. It sure did, and it's given me a, a teleportation point uh, as well, by the looks of things. So yeah, look, when I'm on the map, I got the depths, the surface, and then the sky, and I can switch between them. Go, oh, this is a big game, isn't it? This is a big game. <laughs> so that that's where I came from. Obviously, Robbie's not uh, around here. So I know that uh, apparently uh, down in the depths is where I get uh, Zonite from, which is really important because that's what's going to upgrade like my energy cells that uh, I need to, to power everything. So I'd definitely like to, to find a bunch of that while I'm down here, if I can. Oh, that's a that's a different camp over there. Maybe uh, maybe that's where Robbie has hidden uh, head to. Oh, I think he's left some notes on his way, actually. Hey, you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root. I see shining west of here. So you better hurry and get moving. Oh, so is that that root over there? So if I get to that, that will, like, fill in another big area. So I've got to be careful not to land on this stuff. Can I pick up these, like, fireflies? Can I grab them? I can. A deep firefly. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. Uh, it excretes luminescence elements and can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who can see. Oh, that would be handy. So I, I can put that into an elixir. And then when I come down here, I could just be constantly glowing, just to make it a little bit easier for me to, to see everything. Anyway, let's see uh, the next notes. Hey you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to the stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, I'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll continue to head west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Okay, I guess we will uh, carry on going afterwards. They're really hammering in to bring some bright bloom seeds down here. <laughs> that's That's been the... Uh, the big takeaway, don't forget your bright blooms. Oh, there's some uh, some bomb stuff down here. Uh, it looks like it's probably about time to throw another one out. They do a great job lighting up the area, by the way. Look, just that one little one. Like, look how much of an enormous difference it makes lighting up this uh, this full area. Uh, these bomb plants, these seem like relatively rare, the bomb flowers. I've not run into a huge amount of them so far. So while I'm here, it would uh, definitely be good to, to grab some. Unfortunately, though, it looks like we're not alone down here. It looks like we've got some uh, some enemies to, to take out. Uh, if I sort by attack power, that might be a good way to see things that I can use. Then I can shoot this flame thing at that barrel. That should get a, a pretty good hit against them. The one up there, because I don't trust my aim, I might use the uh, the eyeball. And if you haven't seen this before, it makes it like lock onto them. So then, <laughs> so then you don't need to worry about actually hitting them. Can I like curve it around the corner? Oh, actually, are they all taken out? Oh, there's one right there. But it was like all confused. Uh, so what would do the most damage then? Oh, that will see the thing is though, these are things that I could use as like a um on a sword. Oh, but plus seven damage. That might be worth using against this big guy, but I do not want to to miss this shot. He's throwing the little guys at me. How cheeky. Alright, let's uh, let's use this weird weapon that I have to try and take him out. Then I got my flame emitter on my shield as well, so I can set him on fire and then take them out. That seems so effective. If you've been struggling with the uh, the combat in this game, flame emitter on a shield, it doesn't do crazy, crazy damage, don't get me wrong, but it makes them go and start waving their arms around, in which time you can start hitting them. And then as soon as like they go out of fire, then you can go and do it again. And you can kind of keep like a, a nice loop uh, of kind of setting them on fire and then, um, kind of doing damage, and then they don't really get a chance to hit you back. So it seems to be a, a very good strategy. Anyway, this is what I was talking about. This is the uh, the Zonite that I've been looking for, that we can uh, convert 
uh, into the uh, the stuff that we need to, to upgrade all of my, like, energy stuff. Uh, I just picked up a muddle bud. A wild, uh, wild flower with a powerful odor that can disorientate and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. That could come in handy, especially if there's like a, a big group of enemy. Zzz, just throw it at one of them and get them all to like uh, attack after each other. That could come in handy. Anyway, we, we've uh, reached the uh, the next one of these, so we should be ready to to light up this uh, entire area. And oh. I can see Robbie down there as well, but let's go to uh, let's use this uh, light route first, and uh, let's light up the this area here, and then we can go to to speak to to Robbie and uh, chat about whatever discoveries uh, that he's uh, he's made down here. I'm kind of getting like never vibes <laughs> from this. Like, do you guys relate like Minecraft never vibes? It kind of has that that sort of a uh, feeling. I like the uh, the the different vibe it has from the the surface though. Anyway, how's it going, Robbie? What? Look how bright that thing got! The light down here is so dark, it's downright refreshing! Hmm, in fact it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface! Just standing next to it makes me feel so much better! How strange! Hey! It's, it's you! You're finally here! I need to show you what I found! Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. This statue! It's standing tall on two legs! One arm raised high! It looks an awful lot like that figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Pora Pad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Pora Pad for a second, all right? Ah, oh, there's the problem. Your camera is locked. And so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap on that there, and... Alright, uh, I got my, uh, my camera at last. Start taking some selfies of my adventures. And oh yeah, you're meant to, like, take pictures of all, like, the enemies and plants and stuff in the game. I never bothered doing that in Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm not gonna bother doing it in this game either. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out! Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here and I want to see how it looks. Uh, okay, uh, let's use the other uh, camera. Do I bring it up from here? There's another gap! So it's weird, because they got the map there, which is weird, that the map's there. Because it's like one button pressing away from bringing it. And then Amiibo's got its own thing, which is a bit weird, the way they're just thrown in with all of the other actual abilities. Um... Yeah, so I wonder what's going to end up going in that slot. I'm, I'm trying to think if, if I'm missing anything, like, obvious from, like, the previous game. Like, another ability you had. But I can't think of one. So it would be cool if I did get another actual main ability. I doubt it, though, at this point. I do doubt it. I think if I was going to get one, I'd have got it already. Hey, you! How'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd love to see how it looks. Oh, so, did you get a good picture? <gasps> Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Listen up, that immense root! Getting us this p Oh, lighting up that immense root! Getting us a picture of the statue. You have just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're gonna have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing! Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture! Okay, so I can now use the uh, the camera. So can I can I do can I do selfies? I can still do selfies. I mean, this this game is very very similar to Breath of the Wild, and it makes sense. It is the uh, it is the sequel to to Breath of the Wild after all. Like I shouldn't be surprised, but. It is very similar, isn't it? Like all of the menus and the, uh, the the sound effects. So I guess we're kind of like done for down here, like officially. But I'm sure I could obviously go and carry on like exploring. Like for example, I can see already over there that there's a another one of those. And as soon as I can teleport from any of those, let's let's just go one bit deeper. It's always like the uh, the start of the stories, isn't it? It's like oh. 
Then they dug too deep. They went slightly too deep from what they should have. And I'm guessing I could probably climb up these things as well. I don't know if I'd have, like, the, uh, the stamina to do it yet. But I'm sure that's uh, something that I could do uh, a little bit later on. Like, there does just seem to be, like, a, a lot of good things down here. And look all over there. There's all, like... Like, is that like a big old like giant tower and stuff? It, it kind of looks like uh, it kind of looks like the, it is. Uh, let's throw this since this is almost broken anyway. We can get ourselves a um, a replacement pretty soon uh, to get something else. And uh, it's it's actually nice because it's more it feels more crucial to uh, to take out uh, these enemies than uh, than it used to. So tell you, because because they've just got more uses with like fuse and stuff. Like for example, they got their arms here. And I could... Oh, no, don't throw it. Don't throw it. Cancel that. Uh, I could fuse that to this stick. And then suddenly, I got, like, a really good weapon that does, like, 20 damage. I got an arm on a stick! <laughs> Which is apparently a really good weapon. And then, of course, I could, like, use that with, like, any of the other things that I have already. Because, like, originally, like, all of these things, like, they'd be useful. You could use them in, like, elixirs and stuff. But they wouldn't be, like, amazing. But now they've all got much better. What's this stuff? Oh, I got a Poe! A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to the bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Yes, I remember that thing. There's uh, one of them back at the uh, the area we're going to be heading to uh, straight after this. Do I need to sneak up on these? Are these going to all fly away? Okay, they're not. All right. I, <laughs> I was going to keep like needing to like sneak up on them again and again, uh, but it looks like I did not need to. So, yeah, as I said, there's just way too much good stuff <laughs> down here for me to feel like I could leave yet. But I guess, you know, I can come back here whenever I want, so it's not the uh, the end of the, the world. So let's just go do that um, that light there if we can, and then we'll, um, and then, then we'll head back. Then, of course, in the, the future, we can head uh, back here right, as well. But I probably don't want to do, like, too many episodes in a row down in the, the depths. Because, like, as I say, it's like a, a nice contrast compared to the rest of the game. But it's not where I want to spend most of my time. You know what? It's so dark down here. I might use one of the... Um... Oh, why is it Why is it only showing my, my weapons? Oh, there we go. I, I might use this giant one. Because that's going to light up the area much better. There we go. Now I can... Uh properly see where we're going. Then, of course, once I get to the other thing, it's going to light it all up even better than that. Oh, another one of the other uh, muddle buds as well. That'd be really good to put on um, like the end of an arrow because then you could like launch that right from really far away and uh, confuse someone and get them to uh, attack all of their mates. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty going to end this uh, this episode here. Uh, this was cool. A whole new area of the, the game, the depths that I did not know was going to be in this uh, this game. This, um, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom continues to surprise me around every corner and hopefully it's uh, surprising you as well assuming that you've not blasted ahead of me if you're playing uh, through the the game yourself and this is all old news to you uh, so yeah in the next episode we'll go back to the the surface and uh, we will show the the picture and we'll see what our journey uh, is going to entail after that but apart from that i want to thank you all very much for watching this episode and i will see you all in the next one bye